Right. Okay, the question? So we're bringing out that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of God. We are the Israelites according to the Bible, who were punished, who went into slavery for disobeying God. I believe that wholeheartedly. Oh, praise him. So we got to keep the commandments, you said, right? So sis, do you know God's commandments to keep them? What, what not all of them, not right off hand. Not all of them, right off hand, okay. Huh? What, what's some of the ones you know? Um, that's not have no other God before me. Oh, praise. Oh, so real quick, since you said that, I want to touch on all everyone you say. Have no other gods before me. Do you celebrate Christmas? That's another God. You celebrate your birthday? You celebrate, you put yourself as a God. In the Satanic Bible, they got, if you celebrate your high, your birthday, that's their greatest high holiday. Y'all see again. In the Satanic Bible, one celebrating his own day. That's not of God. They didn't celebrate birthdays in the Bible. And I'm going to show it to you. Get in Jeremiah. All right. Yeah, get the uh, Job or Jeremiah, don't matter. Job chapter 3, verse 3. Read. Let the day perish wherein I was born. So Job said, let that day perish wherein I was born. Read. And the night in which I, it was said, there is a man child conceived. Read. Let that day be darkness. So Job said, let that day be darkness. Get that in Jeremiah 2014. Is this the right one? Jeremiah 2014. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 14. So, no. this, is, this is some things our people don't know. We didn't know celebrating our own birthdays or putting another God before the Most High God. That's right. We didn't know this. But we have to study the Bible to see what does God say about this. Read. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Jeremiah was a righteous man of God who kept his laws. He said what? Cursed be the day wherein I was born. He said cursed the day which I was born. Read. Let not the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed. Don't let that day be blessed. So people say, oh, happy birthday. No, that's not our God. That's right. You understand that? So, what's the most, what's the most commandments, you know? Um, oh, oh, I forgot to say. Oh, that's not how another guy about for me. Um, what is the one? That's not commit adultery, I think that's what it's like. No, no adultery, right? We know that's against God. Um, I'm not sure the exact words of, but it's something about shacking up. You're not supposed to live with nobody else unless you're married. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. But, but I'm not sure how, 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 how to actually put that out into words, though. Yeah, get the Exodus 22. We'll read it for you. Yeah, I, yeah, read that one. So God is not, <laughs> is not with fornication, basically. Yes, it. Right? Matthew 15? 19. 19. Yeah, yeah, get that. So God is not with fornication. He's not with adultery. So remember in the Old Testament, when we used to sacrifice animals, there was no forgiveness for certain sins. Adultery was one of them. It was no animal that you could sacrifice to get forgiveness of adultery, right? It, is, it, is, it required your own blood, meaning you had to be put to death. But under Jesus Christ, who was that perfect sacrifice, now we can be, be forgiven for all the sins that we have committed. Read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 5. Read up. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So boyfriend and girlfriend is not in the Bible. But you're commanded to have a husband or wife, but you have to prove them first. Get that in um, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, go read that next. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid, that is not betrothed. So if a man spit game at a girl and and lie with her, and she's not promising nobody, meaning engaged or something like that, right? Read. And lie with her. And they lie down, they have sex. Read. He shall surely. Hold on, he shall what? He shall surely. Shall surely. Endow her to be his wife. So, we, that's why you're supposed to get to know somebody before you lay down with them. Prove to see if they marriage material. Because if you open up your legs first, or that man do what he do first, then it, you, sh you got to marry them. So you want to keep yourself from all the foolishness. So, because why? We lead in one parent household, right. AIDS, baby mamas. This man don't want to take care of his children. He don't child support. You see what I'm saying? That's prominent in our community. So if we just keep God's law, that's a law that we can apply to help better our community and it would get better right then overnight. That's right. right. If all our men and women say, you know what? Let's apply this law and keep right. it. You understand that's it? Read. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 6, verse 7. Read up. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. So you see what God said? Because your husband or your wife is your friend. God said, if you want to get a friend, prove him first. Talk to him. See where they mind at. See if y'all share common interests and goals. Because one thing y'all got to agree on, 
it's got to be the word of God. He can't believe, oh, I can have sex with little children and, and rape women. You know? Right? Right. You don't want that. You don't want a man that believe that, right? Or just like a woman said, well, I believe I can have sex with whoever I want to, but I'm going to be married to you. That's foolishness. You understand that? I'm going to get into Amos 3 and 3. Because if y'all are not in agreement, how can y'all come together? You understand that? Bring it up. The same thing with people in their religions and beliefs. If the Bible says you have to keep God's commandments, so if you don't believe it, how can we, how can we, how can we be together? Read. Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Bring it up. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's a rhetorical question. It is no. You cannot walk together with somebody that y'all not in agreement with. If you got children and this man's a pedophile, you gonna walk with him? You gonna let him in your house? No. We got to agree on God's law. That's right. That's the denominator. Teach. We all got to agree that, hey, I'm going to do what God says, and we're going to come together as the nation of Israel. That's right. You're That's not right. African American. You're not black. We're God's chosen people. We're the Israelites. That's Bring right. It you see yourself on that sign right there? Mm -hmm. What's your father? Children. Children. So guess what? You come from the same tribe Christ came from. That's right. You got royal blood running through your veins. That's right. That's right. That's right. So watch this. Let me show you what come with that royalty. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because if you royalty, you got to dress like it, right? Uh-oh. Let me go watch this. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Bring it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So women don't wear what belongs to men. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And men don't wear what belongs to women. So what is that saying? Sister? Well... <laughs> Be what you are born to be. be what you born a man, you wear man clothes, you dress like a man, you act like a man, you be a man. If you was born as a woman, you act like a woman, you dress like a woman, you be a woman. All praises. So, what's a woman's garment that men should not wear? Dresses, high heels, tights, leggings, jeggings, uh, uh, a house and top. All uh, praises. Panties, bras, I can keep going for All that. All praises. So, now, what's that? Dresses, high heels, tights, leggings, jeggings, uh, uh, a house and top. All uh, praises. Panties, bras, I can keep going for All that. All praises. So, now, what's a man's garment that women should not wear? Boxes. That's it? I mean, because we don't wear pullovers. But you gave me a whole list for the man. Dresses, high heels, tights, leggings, jeggings, uh, uh, house and top. All uh, braces. Panties, bras. I can keep going for All braces. So because men, y'all do the extra. Like, men go extra. Y'all go way too far. Y'all go too far. Y'all go get breast implants and all this extra. Men do too much. They go uh, too much. Uh, Look, we're going to have to go ahead and wrap this up. Because we're going to have to wrap this up. All right, so check this out, sir. So what it's going into is pants. Women should not wear pants. If I ask you, who wear the pants in the house? supposed to be a man, right? That's right. You right? You agree? Bring it out. So watch this. I agree. So watch. We're going to show you proof in the Bible. Right? Right. Read. So hold on, real quick. What did your grandmama call pants back in the day? Trousers. Trousers. Bridges. Bridges. I like that. Read that. Let's, let's see if that's in the Bible. Exodus chapter 28, verse 41. Bring it out. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother. Aaron? was a man, he said, put him on Aaron, your brother, read. And his sons and, with him. And his sons, not his daughters, sons, read. And shall anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Linen breeches. For the men, read. To cover their nakedness. So he didn't say put them on your daughters and your sisters. No, he said put them on the men. That's right. For men to wear britches. Bring it out. Britches are for men. Who's right. done that? Because oh. women didn't start wearing pants until the feminist movement. Even, even in the cotton field. Watch this. Look right here. Come on, sir. What that sister got on right now? In the cotton field. Come on, let me see if you see. It's right down now. What she got on? Dresses. She got on dresses in the cotton field. That's right. So wait a minute. It was hot. In the fields, and they were cold in the fields in the one time, and they wore dresses. Oh. Thank God I was not born in slavery. But sis, this going for you today. Zephaniah uh, one and eight. Read it up. Cause it's a judgment for us to break God's laws, and there's certain laws got they got a judgment written exactly for it. Read. Watch this. Read. Zephaniah chapter one verse eight. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's so, sacrifice. Shall come to pass, meaning it's a future prophecy. 
to sacrifice something meaning you're killing it. So in the Lord's sacrifice, that means the Lord's coming to kill. What? You understand that? Read. That I will punish the princes. He will punish. He is a reward. He's I'm gonna punish you. Read. And the king's children. The men and the women. Read. And all such as are clothed. That are what? That are clothed. That are clothed, read, with strange apparel. So God says he's coming to punish, to kill everybody that's dressed in strange apparel. Right. Not keeping the law. Right. That's right. Because remember, it's a dress code according to God. If you're royalty, aren't you supposed to dress like? Mm -hmm. If you're a princess, I mean, what princess you ever seen wearing pants? No. None. But guess what? These people that's out here pretending to be royalty, they're not. You're the only true royalty on this planet. That's, that's right. right. Understand that the world was created for the Israelites. Right. That's right. It was created for you. Teach. Right. The moon, the sun, and the earth, and everything you see was created for you. That's right. So wait a minute. If God that created the heavens and the earth said, hey, I want you to dress a certain way, shouldn't you do it? Mm -hmm. So he wants you to eat a certain way as well. Because if you're royalty, you're not going to eat rats and roaches, are you? But watch this. It go deeper than that. Leviticus 11. Ourself. Because this is something that we've been brought up in, and it go all the way back to slavery. Because in Bring the slave fields, they gave us certain foods to eat that we still eat to this day. Because we, it's been just tradition, just been branded in us. Read Leviticus chapter eleven, verse seven. And the swine. What's the swine, sir? The flu. <laughs> Not a flu. Okay, they say swine flu. Swine. When you, when you think about a swine, you think about a pig, right? As a pig, read. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. So he divide the hoof means his foot is like that, right? Read. And be cloven footed. So he's cloven footed, read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. So he doesn't chew the cud. That means when a like a cow it has a complex digestive system. So he chews the cud, it means he chews his grass, and then he spits it back up. He regurgitates it, chews it again from his one of his stomachs. A cow has multiple stomachs. So he chews the cud, meaning he's a clean animal. Because he has a, a complex digestive system. He got more than one stomach. He digests his food a certain weight. You understand that? So you got to be cloven-footed and chew the cud. That has to, that's the stipulation for the cattle. A pig has a cloven foot, but he don't chew the cud. Read. He is unclean to you. So God says he's unclean to you. And when you look at a pig, just Google it. They eat anything. anything. They're scavengers. What's a scavenger do? Eat anything. Eat anything. Dead or alive. So if you think about a bird, of, a bird of prey, like a vulture, a vulture will come eat a dead dog on the side of the road. A pig would do the exact same thing. That's right. right. That's right. But wait a minute, do you think a cow would come such a dead dog? No. 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 It's not going to go near it. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So God said don't eat that. Why? Because it's unclean. You don't eat rats and roaches, do it. You, we laugh at the Chinese people because they eat, we say they eat dogs and cats, right? That's unclean. God says pig is unclean. So that's no more pork sausage, bacon. Right. You got beef bacon. Right. You got turkey bacon. Right. Beef bacon is amazing, sis. You need to try it. Why? Because God said to. That's right. Read. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So that means don't touch it means don't touch it to eat it. Because if a dead pig falls in your driveway, guess what? Somebody got to move it out of the way. Whether it be you or you pay somebody to move. Read. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So, question. You eat shrimp? Mm -hmm. Crab? Mm -hmm. Lobster? Mm -hmm. All that stuff? Mm -hmm. Let's see what God said about that. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Because remember, you royalty, right? So God got a, a certain thing he wants you to eat and not eat. Right? Because everybody ain't royalty. The other nations can eat what they want to eat. Right. But you are a daughter of Sarah. You're a daughter of the Most High God. That's right. You got a list of what you can and can't eat. Read. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water. So we got to have fins and scales if it come out the water. You understand that? Does a crab have fins and scales? No. No. Got nothing. What about shrimp? No. What about lobster? I yawned too. What about catfish? Because yeah, that's something real deep too. down in the south. I Everybody love too. catfish, right? Mm -hmm. Does it have fins? Mm -hmm. It got fins, right? Yeah. yeah. But does it have scales? No. To my knowledge, yeah. Is you said to your knowledge? Yeah. Somebody, somebody, look it up on your phone and show it to me. Mm -hmm.
A catfish does not does have not scales. Have scales. It does not have scales. It does not. So God says, if it come out the finish reading. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water. In the water. In the sea. In the sea. And in the rivers. In the rivers. Them shall ye eat. So it got to have fins and scales if it come out the sea or the river. You understand that? Mm. That's from God. A catfish does not have scales. It's an abomination according to God. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? That's it on that? Read. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of even any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. God says an abomination to you. That's why so many of our people suffer with gout, high blood pressure, Bring it up. all these diseases that we go to to the doctor, and he gonna give you some, some medicine for it. No, just do what God told you to do and you're gonna be good. That makes sense? So, hey, so you got our ad address and number and all that? All praise. Wow. Call that number if you got some questions now. Yes, sir. Thank you. All praise. Now they will see the true man of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.